This is the Sargent and Greenleaf DTL. A DTL stands for Digital Time Lock. And I am very excited about this time lock um, for a couple of reasons. One, you may notice the large e-ink screen. I've been waiting for something like this in a lock generally because e-ink is a fabulous technology for locks. It allows you to display symbols and words you can see from a much greater distance. And e-ink, when it's displaying a symbol, is not using power. So they've managed to make a much larger screen that can give you full English words. So if someone's using this lock and programming it, for example, it's explaining to you on the screen in plain English what to do next, like press this button, enter this. You can't really go wrong. It also allows us to display some very easy to understand symbols, which I'll show you in a second. The second thing I love about this is a more basic thing. This is a direct drive lock. Direct drive means that I can turn the keypad to withdraw the relockers inside the safe. That means the lock is far more flexible. It will go on a much larger variety of safes and even filing cabinets for GDPR reasons. Now, I did mention GDPR because that brings me to the other thing I'm very excited about, the USB port. The USB port allows you to download a full audit of everybody who's opened and closed this lock. So it will tell you who opened it, how long it was open for, and when it was closed. But also, and this is the really amazing thing about this, it allows you to upload the time lock schedule via the USB port. So this now breaks a customer's reliance on a technician to do that. The situation to date has normally been that a technician might be going around with a laptop with your access codes on it, or they are the only people who have your code. And every time you want to set up a new time lock schedule, you've got to phone the technician and they're coming down and you don't know if they have all the same access codes for time locks all over the country. You've no idea. But this puts the power back in your hands because once you have the programmer code, you can set up a time lock schedule from the comfort of your laptop. You use free SNG software you set up your time lock schedule, which gives you four separate opening windows per day and four different time lock schedules, believe it or not. Now, what four different time lock schedules means is that I could be on a different time lock schedule to Bob. And myself and Bob can be on a different time lock schedule to Sally. So when Sally can get into the safe, myself and Bob can't. So it makes it very flexible no matter what kind of industry you're in. If you want to control who's accessing data or cash or whatever it is, you can make sure that I can't access it on days you don't want me accessing it, okay? So what you would do is, you would set up your time lock schedule, and then using your programmer code, you upload your entire time lock schedule directly through the port. No technician required, okay? Now, to show you some of these symbols, 96 star, that is the power level symbol. You can see we have full power at the moment, but that will also show you if you've got half power or you need to change your battery. And it will tell you this in English on the, um, on the screen. Um, if I was to open the safe, now you can see the open symbol. You could view that open symbol from across a room. You can very easily see that that safe is open. But as I said, e-ink doesn't use power when it's just showing a display. The power is only applied to it to change the display. So I could take that keypad membrane out of that lock right now, and that symbol would still be on it. So it's not using any power to display these symbols. Now just relock there. Now I'm going to do a t an audit download, and this will also show you some of the other symbols and the directions it gives you on the screen. So I'm just going to put in the a flash key there and press AT for audit download. And it says on the screen, audit download enter code. So I put in my programmer code. Now it says events, one to six. That's different levels of events. Six is all events. So I choose six. And it says to confirm I want all events, six. 
And that green light there tells me that all of the audit trail has been downloaded to this key. And I just bring that back to my free software and I can read the entire audit schedule. And um, there's two other functions that, that can be programmed into this lock. One of them is time delay, which is pretty standard across time locks. And the other one is duress. So duress being, you can put in a code, vary it by one digit, and it sets off a silent alarm. You can have up to 99 users in this lock. There's different levels, manager level, supervisor level. A manager can add and delete everybody. A supervisor can only delete users and users can only change their own code. So you can see you have a hierarchy there. The programmer code allows us to upload time lock schedules, download audit trails, but it doesn't allow you access the safe. So if you had a situation where you have a lot of these time locks in a suite across numerous uh, premises, and you want to send somebody who, to retrieve those audits, but you don't want them to be able to interfere with the safes, you can do that. You can send them out, they can download their audit trails to the flash key, yet you know they can't access any of those safes. So this lock is, in my view, revolutionary as regards time locks. Um, it has every possible function I've ever wanted in a time lock, and it's very reliable and very easy to use. So well done, Sergeant and Greenleaf.